What's happening on the sun right now is nothing short of extraordinary. Imagine a sunspot 17 times larger than Earth itself, unleashing massive solar flares and sending shockwaves across space. What does this mean for us here on Earth? Spectacular auroras, massive geomagnetic storms, and a powerful cosmic event we're just beginning to witness. On May 1, 2024, a seemingly ordinary sunspot appeared on the eastern edge of the sun. At first, it was nothing unusual, just another spot among the hundreds that form and fade. But this one, it grew, and grew, and grew, swelling to an astonishing size 17 times larger than Earth itself. Leading physicist Brian Cox has described the sun as a dynamic, ever-changing force. As he puts it, the sun is not a constant. It's a vast, constantly shifting sphere of energy, and its cycles affect us all. Scientists quickly named it Active Region 36664, and it didn't take long for it to unleash fierce solar flares, some so powerful they triggered coronal mass ejections aimed straight at Earth. The result? One of the most dazzling aurora displays in recorded history, lighting up the skies in places where auroras had never been seen before. And NASA confirmed it. This was the most powerful geomagnetic storm in 500 years. But the sun didn't stop there. This intense activity marks a pivotal moment in the solar cycle. The sun's magnetic field has flipped, and we have officially entered the solar maximum, the peak of the solar cycle. But what does that mean for Earth? What will these intense solar storms do in the coming months? Let's dive into the science behind this dramatic event and see how it impacts our planet, how it could affect our technology, our climate, and even our daily lives. Every 11 years, the sun undergoes a dramatic transformation known as the solar cycle. Sunspots appear, solar flares erupt, and the sun's magnetic field flips. It's a pattern that astronomers have been tracking for centuries, and now we're in Solar Cycle 25, the most active solar cycle in over two decades. The solar maximum means more than just beautiful auroras. Powerful solar flares and coronal mass ejections can wreak havoc on our satellites, power grids, and even disrupt communication systems across the globe. In the past, these solar storms have caused massive disruptions, like the Carrington event of 1859, when telegraph systems went haywire and auroras were visible as far south as the Caribbean. What would happen today if a solar storm of that magnitude hit? Our dependence on technology makes us more vulnerable than ever. A strong solar storm today could cause trillions of dollars in damage, disrupting everything from GPS systems to our electrical grids. But there's good news, too. During intense solar periods, the sun's magnetic field offers Earth an extra layer of protection from harmful cosmic rays, reducing the risk of long-term damage to satellites and electronics. One of the most exciting things about the solar maximum is the stunning auroras. These light displays caused by solar winds interacting with Earth's magnetic field can light up the sky in vibrant colors like red, green, and purple. And during this solar maximum, we can expect to see these incredible sights more often. So, what's next? The solar maximum is just beginning, and we can expect more solar flares, more geomagnetic storms, and more jaw-dropping aurora displays in the months to come. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the awe-inspiring solar events coming our way.